So this weekend I took my 3D printed robot, which I decided to name Danger Zone, to the Central Illinois Robotics Club's Bot Brawl. I also brought a foam robot that we put a wedge on it. It's just a toy RC car for my brother Eric. When I got there, there was another 3D printed robot. Um, as you can see here, it's called Bit Air, and it looked a little bit nicer design than mine was. There's also this called Mickey Mouse, which was a really unusual design that I've never seen before, and it was actually controlled via a cell phone app. For the first round, Eric got a buy, and I faced against this box that had a ring around it attached by Kevlar cords to protect it from other weapons. Uh, but my weapon kind of just kicked it up, and it ended up sitting on my robot like a hat. And then eventually I was able to uh, back up and put it into the, uh, the trap door. In first, right? Yeah, yeah, he's in first. <laughs> the next round was my brother's robot, which we began calling the Best or Nothing versus Bit Air. And uh, at first, this went exactly how you would predict. Oh! Bit Air is an active little bot. Might take chunks out of our arena, too. I see a Mercedes Benz sticker. Mercedes Enz sticker, sorry, on top of. <laughs> oh, on top of the best or Oh, we've got foam sticking out the bottom. Trap door is open. It might be a problem for bit error. So it's uh, a little bit hard to control. Oh, he pushed around and it looks like he's flipped over. Now back on his belly. Just over a minute left in the match. <laughs> the best of nothing is getting a shave. Oh, and uh, pieces have been lost. <laughs> no. And then here, Bit Air's radio receiver disconnects, and that's a win for us. So the robot we entered as a joke won its first round. To the best of nothing, winning by disabled. Next danger zone went against a wedge named Taco, and uh, pretty soon the motor gives out and I'm kind of stuck sitting there. And as I sit there with the weapon spinning, I don't know it, but the axle for the weapon is slowly working its way out. And again. Oh, and there goes the, there goes the weapon. If you want to tap out, go ahead. I went back to the work area and replaced the motor, soldered that up, unfortunately the new motor is a little slower, and then uh, re-epoxied the mounts for the drum. My next opponent was a wedge bot, and the vertical spinner ended up working great against wedges, which is kind of what you expect. Danger zone with an active weapon, coming up against a wedge bot, flipping him over a couple of times, not doing too much damage yet. In the first round, Danger Zone came flying apart, had to be reassembled. So this hit actually breaks my drum and causes it to rip the front armor off. And it just turns into a pushing match and then at the end the kids vote for the winner because none of us decisively lost and the kids voted for me. So this is what my drum looks like after it's completely cracked. So clearly 3D printed weapons don't work very well. I start super gluing it, and meanwhile my brother manages to win a match by the opponent simply driving itself into the trapdoor. So now he's up against a robot called 1001 Cut, which looks very dangerous. But now his weapon's on top. It's taking chunks out of the phone. <laughs> Luckily, the horizontal spinner just gets stuck in the foam, so 1001 cuts does end up winning, but there's no damage to the best or nothing. Back to danger zone in the loser's bracket, I face off against uh, what looks like a remote control car. 
uh, platform, and I can hit him around a bit. The drum seems to be repaired fine, and eventually his wheel stops working, and I kind of push him towards the trapdoor, and the trapdoor finally opens, and that's a win for me. After the motor replacement, my robot's definitely going a little slower, but it's semi-reliable, so the next fight works well. I uh, throw the wedge off of a wedge robot, and eventually I'm able to hit him and get him stuck up on the back side of the robot. Oh no! Trident stuck on his side, and he may be permanently disabled. Next up is bit air, and uh, at this point the mounts for the drum are epoxied and the drum itself is super glued, so it's not very durable anymore. I try to get uh, him on the front scoop and I back up thinking that I can turn sideways and flip him into the trap door, but I turn too late and go in myself. That vertical disc definitely took some really good bites out of the metal and plastic. So next bit air goes up against my brother again, this time in the loser's bracket, and the same thing happens to his remote. You think it'll all be gone by now. Oh! That puts Eric in the finals where he loses again to 21 cuts and somehow uh, ends up second place. Go. Next is the Antweight Rumble and I've once again fixed and epoxied my drum. Eventually, the thousand and one cuts comes and buzzes off one of my wheels. And finally, I ended the competition by seeing a grudge match between the two best robots there, uh, Bit Error and 1001 Cuts. And this kind of just ended up showing that even with a better design than mine, uh, the 3D printed ABS just isn't cut out for uh, combat robot use. That's the victory!